coping in the best parlour. That's me, coping. Lemon drop. Naughty of you. <laughs> They're coping too. Oh, get yeah. off the furniture, Vincent! Off, off, off! Yeah. Get off the furniture! We're all coping. We're fine. You're on the furniture. We're fine. Let's stop shouting. We're not shouting. You're shouting. We are supposed to be getting the farm spick and span before the cousins arrive tomorrow. And instead, all you're doing is fighting, 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 when what I want to be seeing is sharing, sharing, sharing. <laughs> Imagine how sad you'd be if you had to be taken away from home because of bombs dropping all over the place. We're not sharing the jam with them. What? We're not sharing Dad's jam with the cousins. Oh, no, of course not. That's for Dad when he comes home. I'm talking about your room and your toys. Why won't he reply to my letter? We're not talking about Dad, darling. But why won't he reply? His last one came years ago. No, darling. Look. Three months ago. That's all. You see? Dad's in the army. They move him about a lot. That's all it is. There is nothing to worry about. All right? Now, I've got to run, but you've got to clean up the farm for the cousins. What are they actually like, the cousins? They're city children. I imagine they're rather refined. And I am sure that they are very well behaved. <laughs> Blenkin, stop! He's bombing again! Stop the car! He's bombed all over my shoes! It's all right, Blenkin, stop. Stop now. Where are my marshmallows? Master Cyril, are them marshmallows a wise choice, given your recent evacuation? Marshmallows are always a wise choice, thank you. You beast! You ruined my brand new Bontarelli painted leather pumps and have left the pale pink at home! You beast! Sweetly pretty, is that the place? No. Sister-in-law. No. Your coat's inside out. Oh. My lunch you need with that skirt. No. No, no what? Oh, you know perfectly well no what. I'm not selling. Isabel, look at me. Look at me. Who am I? Who am I? You are my brother-in-law. I'm family, is, is all I'm pointing out, and that's why you can trust me. All right, Phil. What's your point? Is we need to sell the farm now. You haven't even got enough money for tomorrow's payment on the tractor. And if there's no tractor, there's no harvest. If there's no harvest, the farm will fail. I and... said no. And actually, Norman's sort of a way to get some money, so I will make the payment on the tractor. Has he indeed? What way would that be? I'm in a hurry, Phil. Isabel, I can't point it out enough that I need the money. I'm only human, but that farm is half... Half Rory's and half yours. Yes, yes, I know. I know because you tell me every time I see you. But you can't sell it. With 
without my permission, and I do not give my permission. But, Izzy, I've got the contract right here. Goodbye, Phil. Oh. I'm here, I'm here. Mrs Doherty, don't start without me. Mrs Doherty? Mrs Doherty? Who? Oh. Oh. There you are. I'm so worried. Oh, you worry too much. And it doesn't help. It's just that you have been a bit forgetful, that's all. Now you, you look after the shop. I'll put away the deliveries. Oh, I was managing perfectly. You haven't started unpacking, have you? Unpacking? Where? <laughs> oh, all right. I was just putting the flour away. <coughs> oh, it's gotten foggy. <laughs> oh, could, could you pass me the scoop? Good morning, Mr. Green. We haven't had the pleasure. But I am Miss Topsy, and this is my colleague, Miss Turvey. Charmed. Can you guess who sent us? Sent to lovely ladies such as yourselves, Father Christmas. <laughs> You're flirting with us, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't call you Phil, can I? You can call me whatever you like, sweetheart. <laughs> David's a naughty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Biggles won't like it. Mrs. Big says you owe her. You ran up a big fat debt in one of her Riverside casinos. See what you've gambled away, Phil? I owe one farm. Where is your farm, Phil? I like farms. We've come to get it. And I respect that, ladies. And yeah, you'll get it, you'll get it. And Mrs. Biggles has nothing to worry about. I can fix it. I am fixing it. Please don't hurt me. <gasps> Oh, we don't want to hurt you, Phil. Oh. The fact is, Mrs. Big has told us to come back with one of two things. The deeds to your farm. <laughs> Or your kidneys. <laughs> oh. Not ripe yet, then, old son. Uncle Phil, where did you come from? Oh, just on my way home. Be ripe in a few days, I reckon. You must be very proud. Your mum told me all about your idea to pay for the tractor. What on earth made you think of that, then? Well, I saw Farmer McCready at the shop, and he said he was looking to buy some gross to old spots. Huh? Pigs. I, I knew that. So when I offered to sell him our piglets, he jumped at it. Clever. Very clever. Come on. Feed it through. That's it. Feed it through. Come on, Think. Think, 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 think. think. Piglets. Gotta get rid of the piglets. No piglets, no tractor, then she'll have to sell the farm. Tomorrow. 